All right, guys, now that I showed you what we got in the mail, let's go to the nitty gritty here. So this is a factory shock tower. Um, I advise you to watch their installation video. Um, it says right on the box. Oh, it's a lifetime warranty. That's another reason why I bought these guys. And they have install videos on YouTube for your specific vehicle. So, pretty simple. Take off your ABS line, take off the brake line, take off these two, which are 17. Um, I'm going, no wait, they are 19. And take out the top and pay attention to these because these could be camber bolts depending on your model. So you want to know which way they're going in. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So after some fighting, she's finally out of there. I took more of oomph than I was expecting. Here's the side-by-side. -side. Um, obviously, the spring is more um, sturdy, if you will, than the stock STI one, right? It's going to be more... Um, the spring rate tire. Let's put it that way. It's going to be more stiff, so it's not going to compress like that one. So I'm going to have to put this on and see where uh, where the ride height lies. But it'll be easy once it's on there. So follow along. All right, guys. First one's in. Took me a bit. The race lines do not fit the JDM strut brace. So I had to fight with this. I had to drill the hole bigger, which I'm going to have to do to the other side as well. So that took the most time. Um, it is now in the springs are preloaded this is locked anti-seize on the threads to prevent it from uh, corroding as best as I can these do come powder coated too to help um, prevent all that so there's the first one all right everybody it is day two of installing the wonderful coilovers. The front is done. It is dialed in. I had to go back last night. I did not finish. Obviously, the rear still need to be completed. Um, the front, I had to go back today and preload them properly. Um, yesterday, I just preloaded them without undoing it all, doing it back up, hand tight, and then doing the five mil up from that. So there is a science to it. I didn't think there was. Well, not that I didn't think there was. I knew there was. I just wanted to get it done. But I couldn't sleep on it knowing that I didn't do it properly. So I went back, did the fronts properly, and now we're going to tackle the rears. Um, it's going to be much easier this time because I know exactly what I'm doing. So without further ado, let's go. All right. So wheels off. Uh, this one looks a lot easier to take out simply because um, that the bottom of the strut mount is not touching the boot at all. So that's a good thing because in the front, it was putting pressure on the boot and um, I had to manage that by myself. So this one's gonna be easier, I think, because it's just gonna drop and then we can take it out. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we got that one out. Like I said, it was way easier to do than the other one. I'm going to clean out this. This was kind of a pain to get out. Here's a comparison of the rears. Um, I'm going to make this more flush when I put it in and it should sit uh, decent to where it was before, which is what my main goal is. So I'm gonna clean this guy up and put everything back together. All right, I just wanted to show you guys before I end the video that don't forget to get at your rear strut mounts, the top tops. You do have to take off your rear seats, which is a contraption of three, sorry, two bolts on the bottom. And for the JDM STIs, four bolts um, here because it has a pass through. So it has a, uh, its own separate uh, support. So yeah, don't forget about that. All right, guys, so the... Uh, the rear first first side on it was a pain in the ass i'm not gonna lie uh this didn't fit very nice onto this uh looks like the metal was warped a little bit 
So I don't know if that happened in shipping or whatnot. Um, this didn't go in very nicely. I'm a tad bit concerned on it rubbing. Uh, the brake line, that is. I don't think it'll be an issue because it was kind of like that before. But I'm going to upgrade the brake lines at some point. So the ride height's set. I'm going to lock this and put some anti-seize into the threads and uh, tidy this one up and call her a day on this one. I, uh, I don't overly like how they set up the, the brake line bracket. Um, it doesn't fit the brake line nicely and to get it in there you have to twist the line so the puzzle piece fits in there and then you put this down which then forces this line against the wall of the car so i chose to put a silicone hose around it an extra one i had laying around that looks like it has oil in it because it came off a catch can <laughs> but that's uh that's essentially what it's gonna look like. Overall, I mean, it didn't go too terribly bad, but I definitely wouldn't say it was a, uh, it's an easy install, but like, it's nice to have more than one set of hands. Um, these don't fit in there nice. So you have to jack it and then guide it in and it'll go in. So that's my take on it anyway. Um, I, I, I just don't like this but I'm gonna have to deal with it for now. Don't forget to put anti-seize on the threads and torque everything down. So I'm gonna put this thing on the ground and we'll see what she looks like. Something else I wanted to show you guys before I put the car down is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but make sure you take a measuring tape and measure the bottom of this. Uh, you kind of want to get the same length. So I measured it by my fingertip and it's pretty accurate. Like they feel the same on both sides. And then you want to measure from the base to the top ring here. And they're both 10 inches, so essentially the ride height should be identical. All right, y'all. She's on the ground. She's stiff. Um, she's pretty symmetrical on all sides, which is awesome. This is my first time um, actually installing coilovers. Um, I've always really had them on the cars that needed them, etc. Um, yeah, so overall, the install was, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Um, I was expecting a lot better. Um, it seems like those brackets for the brake lines, at least on the back, were a lot better than what they gave you because it wasn't even shaped properly for the OEM line mount thing but anyway it's done i'm happy now the car just has to settle and then i'll see actually where it is and i will adjust the height from there but so far so good it looks a lot better um at least the body of the car is above above the wheel now which is awesome so as always hope you guys enjoyed the video um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All right. Peace.